Now in this video we'll see the alternative ways of latching and unlatching the output. One was this that you will put the parallel branch, parallel rung here of the output device and this is to unlatch to break the latching. The another way is to use specialized bit which is known as latch here, output latch and output unlatch. These can also be used and it will really simplify the logic as well. Some people find this way very easy to do, some people find this latch and unlatch. So it depends upon the programmer as well. So let's try the another way as well to see how this can be done in a different way. So for that I need to remove this output here and here and here. Okay. Now this is my input which is my start switch here. It's a contact for start switch. Using that I'll take this latch, output latch. Okay. When you take this output latch the difference is you'll find L here in between this output. If you take normal output you won't find any L inside. So this is a latching bit, latching output bit. So take this bit, write the address O colon 0 slash 0, which is my first actuator. That's it. You don't have to put anything in parallel. This is a specialized bit. If it receives a pulse from the input or the continuous signal, it will latch the output. Okay, that's make it easy. Now to unlatch the output, to stop the output, we are using the stop switch. Okay, so here I'm going to use NC now. I'll tell you why. Let me write the address. Now I'm using NC here and in front of that I'll use unlatch to, to make this address same as this one the one way is to drag the address okay now you might be wondering that in the last example I took NO why I took NC here because this latch and unlatch bits get activated with a pulse okay so now if I say that if I press the start switch it will give a pulse to this latch and it will turn on the output to turn off the output this needs a pulse just a pulse not a continuous if you give continuous, of course it will work, but the minimum requirement is just a pulse. So what happens if I took here NO of the stop switch, which will be continuously on, which will continuously unlatch the output. We don't want that. We want that output should be unlatched when you press the switch. So when you press the stop switch, that NO, that uh, NO contact, if I would have took the NO contact, that will close, that will open for a moment. But if I took NC contact here, now if this button is not pressed, this will be open. If it is NC, it will be open. It will not pass the signal. So this is not getting any pulse. The moment you press the stop switch, it will be closed and it will pass signal to this unlatch. So let's see that practically. How does it work? I'm going to download that in the PLC. Just for the demonstration, you will see that this contact will be open. You see this is open, it is not passing the signal. Start button is passing the signal. So this will unlatch the output. Okay. Again, this is I call in 0 slash 12. The moment I press the start switch from here, this will latch the output and you can see the results here. Okay, I press it once, this is latched without any parallel branch. This is a specialized bit. The moment I press stop, this will be closed for the moment which will unlatch the output. All right there is no light here. Now you might be confused by like if I start it again you'll find lights here both. This light actually indicate that this output is on. It doesn't mean that unlatch is getting the signal which might be confusing sometimes. So to stop the output press the stop once it will be stopped. Okay. Start and stop. Okay. This is about latching in another way to latch and latch the boxes. So in the next objective what we have to do is we have to pass the box from this conveyor to this conveyor automatically and let this box travel through. Right now you will see that when the box comes here there's nothing happen everything get jammed. Next we have to do is when the box leaves that conveyor the previous conveyor should be stopped next conveyor should be run and it should reach its destination which is here. All right that will be the next video. So this was about latching and latching using specialized sweat. All right. Thank you.